So, we got the machine started. It's pretty warm today, like minus seven. We should go up to almost zero. We're gonna fuel up. After we fueled up, we're gonna go and uh, see if we can show you guys how to remove stumps. Whatever you do, when you gas up your tractor, always remember to put the gas cap back. It makes a mess. <laughs> so I got the tractor back from our equipment yesterday. Really quick turnaround. Um, they picked this thing up on Tuesday morning. They brought it back Friday morning. So quite impressed. It had its uh, hydraulic power steering pump changed. A couple of other things. Um, just touched up on it. Some updated software. The thing runs like a dream. It ran great before, but it's running even better now. So I'm pretty happy about that. There's a small leak in the, uh, there's like a shaft that goes down into the uh, power steering uh, pump. And I guess there's a seal there that was uh, that was leaking. So they just swapped out the whole pump, uh, which is super kind of them. Um, under warranty, of course. Um, just to say again, like our equipment, you know, it doesn't matter if you're buying a tractor, a snowmobile, motorbike, quad, side-by-side, -side, boat, they'll take care of you. There are a ton of grease zerks on this thing. And I was having some trouble with that one right there. It just uh, doesn't seem like it wants to, the grease wants to come out of that. So it just comes out of the top. It's not, not working. We have to talk about that. So I've been at work here and uh, I'm going to go put the grapple on later on and we'll take these out. And the idea when you take out a stump is you go one side, the other side, and then this side, this side, and you rip all the roots out and then the stump comes up. Let's get in here for a minute. So I'm almost done getting all the roots cut from around this this guy this guy's pretty big 
I wear a size 13 and size my boot. I got that root out last night, but I think I got a few more here. And then I'm somehow gonna have to dig in front of me here. And then she will move. That one's ready, the other one's ready. I backfilled some holes, but I got a lot of stumps to pull out. A lot of work, let's get to it. So I got about two thirds of the field done. Let me back up a little bit so you can get a good look at this. Pretty good weekend. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a technical difficulty and uh, I ended up, I don't even know how this is possible, but I, I bent one of the rods on one of the cylinders on my backhoe. So we have to see if I can get that warranted or and repaired. So we'll give our equipment a call on Tuesday and see what needs to be done there. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the result. I, I still have like some stumps to remove over there. I didn't really clean up too much over there yet. Here, uh, I've been using that box blade to uh, level out the, the land, the, level this out. This is a little higher here. There's a bit of a bump here, bump here. So I'm gonna do a few more passes before I run out of light. And then uh, call it a day. Yep. A little upset about the backhoe. Well, what are you gonna do? You know, you use your machines, they're gonna break. Um, I uh, scared myself, I went on the internet and I took a look at how expensive it's gonna be to repair if it doesn't get covered under warranty. And it's not cheap, unfortunately. But it is what it is and we'll get it fixed and we'll keep on farming so that's it for this weekend um if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe click the notification bell and i appreciate everybody who watched this video take care and we'll see you soon mm -hmm.